the Bird News Network, brought to you by American Bird Conservancy, which conserves native wild birds and their habitats throughout the Americas. This is Steve Homer reporting. The recent report, U.S. State of the Birds 2009, by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, American Bird Conservancy, and several other conservation groups, reveals that several hundred bird species in the United States are in severe decline, and some are facing extinction. State of the Birds Report 2009 is a very, very important document because uh, it is a scientifically grounded document that tells us uh, what the state of the bird population is here in our country and in North America. In many ways, uh, this report is uh, the canary in the coal mine of the status of our bird population uh, here in, in North America. And if this report tells us anything, it says that when we apply ourselves by investing in conservation, we can save imperiled wildlife, protect habitats, and solve the multiple threats at the root of the problem. Now, the State of the Birds report documents that the birds of Hawaii, the birthplace of President Obama, are in the greatest peril. Sadly, one-third of all the birds listed under the Federal uh, Endangered Species Act are Hawaiian birds. Yet, a recent analysis of the previous administration's spending showed that they only receive about 4% of the ESA's species recovery funds. We hope that the new administration will change this disparity. State of the Birds finds that the birds of Hawaii are in the greatest danger of extinction. A question about increasing spending for bird conservation in Hawaii was asked to Secretary Salazar at the press conference. Yeah, we'll take a look at the budget and make sure that we have uh, the right allocation. I will be frank, uh, you know, it is important for us uh, to look uh, forward and, and we are looking forward because that's uh, where we ought to be spending our, our energy. But also when you look back um, at the last uh, decade or so, you have seen the Department of Interior budget uh, continually to continue to decline and being one of the bottom end budgets of all the departments of our national government. Well, yes, that does have a huge impact on the Fish and Wildlife Service and what it can do because they don't have the resources to get the job done. Action is urgently needed to conserve and restore habitat and to address the multiple threats that have decimated many Hawaiian forest bird populations, including habitat degradation by introduced grazing mammals and the spread of diseases to which native birds have little natural resistance. American Bird Conservancy has petitioned for two rare Hawaiian species, the Akeki and the Akekiki, to be protected under the Endangered Species Act, and is working to secure desperately needed additional funding to address the problem of invasive species. The report also finds that many oceanic birds are in great danger, and that across America, birds continue to face a gauntlet of threats to their survival, including pesticides, collisions, domestic cats, and habitat loss. Hundreds of millions of birds die needlessly each year in collisions with towers and buildings. Through poisoning by toxic pesticides and other human-induced threats. Despite this, there is hope for the future as shown by the remarkable recovery of the nation's symbol, the bald eagle. Better tower lighting systems that don't attract birds are available. They just need to be employed. We already have banned many of the most dangerous pesticides on the market. The remaining offenders need to go too. We have dramatically reduced the deaths of endangered albatrosses in U.S. longline fisheries. Now the same needs to happen worldwide. State of the Birds calls attention to the problems and the solutions. Now we need to act to ensure that future generations of Americans will enjoy the same diversity of birds that we treasure today. The report is available at www.stateofthebirds.org. For more information on these issues, please see American Bird Conservancy's website at www.abcbirds.org. This is Steve Homer. Thanks for joining us at the Bird News Network.